Uh, yeah, he's making sure. There, Chris. Yep. And let's bring up Emmy. Let's bring Emmy up on here. Hello there, Emmy. Hello, everyone. <laughs> before we get started, there is one uh, ground rule I would like to bring up before we start bringing up the guests. Very good. Please don't ask about Emmy's uh, eating disorder. It is a touchy subject that we do not need to be getting into. So please keep that in mind. And any mods in the chat, please make sure to keep an eye on that in the text chat. Anyways, shall we get started? Uh, yeah, here, just want to make sure, uh, Emmy, you're with us. You can hear us. Emmy? Uh, I think uh, Discord's, uh, I think Discord's <laughs> doing it again here. We'll bring uh, Emmy right I'm back up in here. God dang it, Discord. You do. Emmy? Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on, her mic was just working. <laughs> it was, it was, I was gonna say, it was just fine a moment ago. Exactly. Oh, no. Come on here. Oh, boy. Try to figure uh, out. Just trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> I mean, see, we can try restarting your Discord. Hello. Oh, oh wait. There, you are. there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Here we go. We can hear you now. I had to reset my app. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, no, you're all right. It's all good. <laughs> trying to speak and i'm like wait can you guys hear me and they're like let's just make sure she's with us and i'm like oh no oh good we can hear you aside from what chris <laughs> said right here hello everybody digital revo 2023 hope y'all are enjoying the cons so far joining me and my good friend chris cast the protectors and the absolutely legendary emmy jones no oh, thank Indeed. you so much <laughs> Uh, I think with that, we can uh, get right on into it. Chris, I'll let you start us off with uh, picking somebody to come on up here and uh, speak. Hmm. Let's see. How about we bring up Kayin? I see her in the chat. Kayin. All right. <laughs> Hello again, Kayin. Come on up. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hey, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing good. Nice to see you. It's nice <laughs> to see you, too. All right, I'm going to keep it succinct. I think I saw you were working on a Halloween costume. Did you finish? And uh, were you making that yourself? Uh, so, yes, I am working on the Halloween costume. And I just, yeah, I actually just finished it up today. Um, Dude, cool. But I did not do it completely by myself. I got a lot of help. Uh, so I wish I could take credit for how incredible that wound up turning out. But no, I, I got help from somebody who uh, knows how to do that much better than I do. <laughs> Nice. I just saw like the I saw a in progress photo, I think, of uh, you working on a Tails costume and it looks really nice. Like the it's got like a great fur quality. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. I uh, when I was a kid, I think I was like 11. I did a Tails and I, I did make that one by myself, but it was, <laughs> you know, made out of like felt and obviously not done nearly as well but i wanted to uh you know try to improve it and see if i could do like a before and after shot <laughs> oh it looks good that'll make a great set of photos yeah. like, I dressed up with novels for halloween i should redo it at some point <laughs> yeah you should it should be cool right that's so yes. exciting so well i'm exciting. glad to hear you finished it it looked from what i saw it looked great and uh i hope you enjoy getting to wear it <laughs> thank you i really right. appreciate it that's all and goodbye <laughs> thank, thank you so you much KM. I'm really in a good mood I'm like so excited to go trick or treating well not me but I'm taking obviously my family so we're just really excited <laughs> oh that sounds like it's going to be awesome it's going to be so Agreed. much let's have a look we'll bring up the next person here let's go ahead and call up Trey Thornton 19 alright what up there uh, uh, Trey uh, um, hey, everybody. Hey, <laughs> what's up? Uh, hello, uh, Miss Emmy. We, <laughs> How meet, are you doing? we meet again. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to see you, Jeff. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Trey? I'm doing excellent, just to enjoy the panel. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... My uh, question is for you, Miss Emmy, is what was your favorite song cover that you made with the help with the crew? The crew? Uh, my favorite song cover. I'll be honest, it, I swear it changes all of the time. Like, <laughs> so like, 
someday I'll be like, oh, it's endless possibility. And then there's other times where I'm like, no, it's a sleepy time. Believe in myself. Um, and I think today I'm leaning towards sleepy time. Believe in myself. So I'm really proud of that one. Well, that's great. Well, mine Thank is you. no problem. Mine is the infinite. This is when when I got introduced to your channel for oh my gosh, really? 2017. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. Well, I'm really glad that you like that one. That was fun to do. Thank you. Yeah, no that's, problem. Well, that's all I can say and hope you had a great day. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a good rest of the panel. No problem. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks so much there, Trey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you there. Uh, Emmy, if you would like to pick one from the list, you're more than welcome to. Sure. So wait, hold on. Do I just pick somebody who has their hand up? Uh, yeah, yep. you can uh, show a whole list of them on the show request ping on the right hand side of the screen. <laughs> if, right. if, you, if it'll make it easier. I'll do. Let's do uh, LJ the Hedgehog. LJ the All Hedgehog. Right. All righty. Come on up there, my friend. Oh, young Emmy. Hi. It's been a year. Yeah, it has been a year since uh, we've last spoke. How are you? I am doing good. Just ate some dinner. Oh, what'd you eat? Uh, my mom just decided to prepare me some chicken nuggets. Sounds really good. <laughs> Anyways, it's really good to see you again. How you been? Uh, I've been doing good. I really appreciate you asking. How have you been? I've been good. School has been, well... Awfully, really difficult being a senior now and all. Oh my gosh. Congratulations. You're getting close to graduating. That's so cool. Yep. And hopefully I actually am able to graduate because it's been very challenging. I understand. And if it makes you feel any better, it was kind of hard for me too. Um, when I was uh, in high school, I didn't know I had ADHD. So I thought I was just kind of dumb. <laughs> and I <laughs> struggled and I had to get a lot of help. It was not until I was in my 20s. They're like, you have ADHD. I'm like, oh. It's like, oh. <laughs> that makes sense. So I understand. It's going to be okay. I because I back. actually have ADHD as well. Oh Same. my gosh. <laughs> I, well, I understand the struggle, like, a lot. But so far, it's been pretty simplistic. I mean, there have been a few bumps in the road, but I'm, I'm chugging through. Good. Well, I'm, you know, I'm counting on it. You got it. Yeah, LJ. once again, those are a lot of squad cars. <laughs> you, got a, you got a question to your friend there, LJ? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, will season two be able to be released this year or next year of uh, the uh, Sonic and Tales R project? So, that's a good question. I think that how it's looking... Um, so the reason, for starters, it hasn't been announced yet, and we haven't put it out yet, because we do have something that we're preparing uh, to sort of prepare everybody. And let's say it's going to be an appetizer uh, to season two. So we have a special thing. And this is, I guess, my first time literally bringing this up at all to anybody. Uh, we're doing something very special first. And it'll be kind of a sort of a special episode um, that will come out. And that should be, I'm thinking, by the end of this year, if not incredibly early of next year. Um, it's very close to being completed. And then after that, season two will properly begin. So because of that, I'm thinking you can expect proper season two uh, early next year. All right. That sounds awesome. Yeah, thank you. I'm really excited. Anyways, it was really good to see you again. And before I go, I got one thing to say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Those are a lot of squad cars. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Those lines were so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Anyways, <laughs> you guys have a great rest of the panel, and whoever the next lucky person is to come up, I hope you enjoy talking to Emmy. She is an amazing person, along with Chris and Dustin the Wind here. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Thank you there, LJ. Appreciate you. Uh, Chris, you're up, my friend. Alright. Let's see. How about we bring up Olivia? Alright. Go right on ahead. <laughs> Hello, Olivia. Olivia, um, is your microphone working? Might have to. Oh, uh, it's doing what it did with Cam. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, oh, no. I'm, uh, I'm saying double. 
Here, hang on. Let's bring, uh, we'll, we'll bring Olivia to the audience and then bring them uh, back in. That seems to <laughs> usually fix it. So here, hang on a second. See what we've got here. Uh, Olivia, did that do it? Yep, there we go. Yeah, that did it. There we go. Hi, Emmy. Hi, how are you? I'm doing really well. Good to hear. So my question for you is, uh, since Sonic Frontiers came out last year, if you had to choose, what's your favorite Sonic uh, Frontiers song? Frontiers song? Hmm. I'll be honest, I, I think it would probably... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. I, now, I do You're apologize. I, I don't remember all the names of them. Um, I feel bad about that. But I really liked the one from the second boss. Can anyone remind uh, me the name of that one? It, uh, it, it. It. I think it's Breaking Through It. Yeah, it's Breaking Through It All. Yeah, I think it Yeah, yeah that one. I all. love Yep, thank you. That's it. Yep, that one's my favorite. I really like that one. A good choice. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> you yeah, that, that song had me really hyped. That's good. One of my favorite uh, Sonic Frontier songs is definitely Undefeatable. I've listened to it more than like a hundred times at this point. Oh yeah, Undefeatable is really good too. Oh yeah. Good choice. Thank mm-hmm. you. Yeah, no problem. You are amazing, Emmy, yeah. and apologies if I was a bit nervous today. Oh, no, 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 no. It's totally okay. Do not worry about it at all. I understand. Thank you there, Olivia. Thank, yeah, you. thank you, Olivia. It was really great Take talking care. to you. Me too. <laughs> thank you, Olivia. All right, let's see. Who do we got up next? What do we have here? Uh, let's bring up. Let's bring up Ultrasonic Hero. Okay. All right. All right, Ultrasonic Hero, come on down. Uh, testing, testing. Thank we you. hear you loud and clear. Yeah. All right. Uh, first and foremost, welcome. And second, a long time to see Emu. Emu, hope you're well. Yeah, I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, superb, thanks. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while since I've heard from you. Yeah. Life's been pretty busy, I'll tell you. No, oh, trust me, I get it. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my question for you is, what has been your most successful music project to have ever worked on as a musician for this year? Um, hmm, well, hold on, let me think. For this year specifically? Yep. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, hmm. That's actually really hard because I'm not really sure for this year in particular. Today or this year, I've been doing a lot more cooking than releasing. I've been just working on a lot. Um, but I don't know. Maybe I, I was pretty happy with my vandalized uh, explicit version that I did this year. So I, I would say probably that one. But I'm working nice. on a lot of stuff that's still <laughs> to come out potentially before the year end. So. I, I know that sounds kind of like cheating, but maybe that, like, probably what I'm still working on. No problem, that counts. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, thank you for answering my question. Yeah, no problem. All right, take it easy. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. Yeah, that's actually for <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'm so dumb. I, I, I do have an answer, but uh, it's not out yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, I can't believe I didn't think about this. But uh, tuned, give, me, give me a few mm-hmm. days. Give me a few yeah. days. We'll, you'll see. You heard it here first, everybody. <laughs> yep. Keep an eye on my Twitter. <laughs> All righty. Uh, Emmy, you can pick another person from the audience. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's pick. I'm going to pick. Let's do Lance the Dark Lightning. Ah, Lance. Come on up here, Lance. Hello there, Lance. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, yep. Sir. Awesome. Yeah, how are you, Lance? I am a bundle of nerves. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> okay. Um, so my question is involving music. Okay. Um, how do I say this? How did you go about finding your specific sound? Okay, that's a great question. Um, so after I graduated high school, I knew I kind of wanted to, to, you know, pursue music in a bigger way. Um, and I remember I started off doing certain songs, but it never really felt like me, if that makes any sense. Like I, I did some stuff and, you know, it was just kind of all right. Um, 
But then totally. I remember, I remember there was some advice that I, uh, I think it was in a video that I was watching, and it mentioned, um, if there's something that you're looking for, you should create it. If you can't find it, then make that yourself. And I remember probably around 2015 ish, 2016 ish, um, you know, I, I struggled with going to sleep at night. I have, you know, a lot of anxiety because I've got a lot of anxiety stuff. Um, and because of that, I would look online for relaxing covers of songs that I liked, particularly Sonic. And the only thing I could find was like one single piano cover of like Station Square. And I would probably listen to that every single night. And I'm like, man, like, why is there nothing else? Like, that's so weird. Um, so I thought, well, maybe I should just make it. You know, I, I could probably do that. I, my voice in particular, it's kind of on the softer side. Um, so then I gave it a shot and that's kind of how I found it. I found that that was just something that worked really well for my voice. And it was something that, uh, YouTube did not have enough of at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that's quite interesting. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, yeah, I just, I just have a very soft voice. It's not always easy for me to do the louder stuff. I still do it every so often and I love doing it, but the softer stuff is what I am most comfortable doing. Okie dokie. Nice. That, help, that helps a lot. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, thank you. No problem. <laughs> there, Lance. See you later. Take care. Bye. Enjoy the con, my friend. Uh, Chris. Hey, let's see. How about we bring um uh, let's bring the Maito. Maito, Maito not found. Come on up. Hello. Hello, Maito. how are you? I'm doing great. Okay, That's so um, here is my question for MU Um uh how how did it feel doing a lot of work with Pete Capella? <laughs> In the comic dubs. Pika and Bella. Sonic and Tails are. Um, I appreciate the question. Uh, I feel really bad for giggling. Um, <laughs> it, it's great. Uh, the reason I giggle is because, uh, you know, Pete, for me, he's, he's, he's family. Um, I don't know if a lot of people actually know this, but uh, he's literally family. He's my brother-in-law. <laughs> So, Brother-in-law, um, that's so cool. cool. I didn't know yeah. that. Congrats. Yeah, he actually. Uh, we, you know, when I moved out here, um, he introduced me to his, his brother-in-law. So we, my my partner, his name is Cameron. Um, that's that's Pete's brother. So uh, nice for him. He's just family. Um, and so it's always great working with him and doing you know stuff. But I don't ever really think of a whole lot of it just because you know we are family <laughs> but uh, it's great it's it's always fun doing stuff with him he's so talented and you know i care about him quite a bit so you know really it's is. it's always fun <laughs> yeah i didn't even know that's pretty cool to hear yeah absolutely actually that is really interesting hey <laughs> 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 anyway, did that answer your question there Mito? yes chris <laughs> Thanks for answering it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Thank you there, Maito. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Um, let's bring up VG Jedi. Let's bring up VG Jedi up in here. Oh, oh wow. I did not I okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey buddy. Hey, <laughs> uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, but, yeah, uh, but, yeah, hi, Emmy, uh, really nice hey. to meet you, and, uh, and, and also, by the way, really cute, really cute profile picture, by the way. Oh, thank you, I appreciate yeah. it, yeah, I love yeah. how it's cool. Uh, yeah, 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 yes, <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, uh, okay, so my, uh, okay, so I guess my question is, like, do you have any, uh, uh do uh, my my uh, my my question is: uh, Do you have any like uh, like 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 uh, like any other aspirations for uh, for uh, for voice acting other than Sonic? Oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. Um, 
I would love to be able to do like the Pokemon anime. That's like a big one that I've always wanted to do. I'd love to be able to. Yeah, the Pokemon uh, anime specifically, because I grew up with it. You know, I am a a 90s kid and I actually went to like the first three movie premieres like as a kid. So for me, that would be just a dream come true. Um, So, yeah, I would probably say the Pokemon anime. That's a big one. I definitely grew up with Pokemon as well. Still to the same. <laughs> yeah, it's great, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, does, does that answer your question there, uh, BG? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, and, 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 and again, it was very nice to finally meet you, Emmy. Yeah, it's so nice meeting you, too. Thank you for your question. Uh, yeah, no problem. Good night. Good night. Thank you there, VG. Appreciate you. Uh, Emmy, you can go ahead and pick another one. Okay. Uh, let's do, let's do, hold on, wait, hold on. Sorry, the names are all bouncing around. Uh, Kitty Cat. Uh, Kitty Cat, yeah. All right. Okay, let's bring her up. Come on up, Kitty Cat. There we go. Hello there, can you hear us? Hello. There you are. (laughs) Oh, okay, well, uh, hi, Emmy. I think it's fine. You're amazing. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. How sorry, are you? Trying, I'm, I'm good. I'm just, I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to stop. I'm trying to stop myself from fangirling, trying to keep it professional. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Okay. But my, okay. My, my question is, it's, it's about, uh, Sonic and Tails are, what, what episode would you say so far is your, was your favorite to record for? Ooh. To record for it, that's a really good one. Um, I would say probably episode nine was my favorite to record for specifically. Because um, it was really fun getting to do like, well, I don't know. I, I, I assume everyone's seen it, I think. But uh, Super Tales, that one was really fun to record. It was really fun yeah. to just shout and just really emote, like really crazy. It was a lot of fun. Fly With Me is an absolute bop. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. That was so much fun, and it was so hard to like not tell anybody about it for like so, so long. So I was very excited to finally have that song be released in that episode. And you did definitely put in a lot of hard work on that one. Definitely. Thank you. So yeah, yeah does that answer the question? Okay. Definitely. Okay. Uh, have a nice, have a nice day. You have a nice day, you all, and Emmy, keep being awesome. Oh, well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's bring you. All right, I will choose the next person. How about we bring up Radar? We'll bring up Radar. All right, Radar, come on up. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hello. How's everyone doing today? Doing all right. Yeah, we're doing good. good. That's good to hear. I... I'm trying to get in as much fun as I can for the rest of the day. I understand. There's so much to do. So much to do and so little time. I can't believe it's already day two. Uh, oh. <laughs> so, uh, Emmy, I have a question for you. Okay. I actually wanted to ask if you uh, happen to have any favorite character moments from the Sonic comics, if you have read any of them. Ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh, I'm going to ah, say... Got her with a good one. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, <laughs> Could be Archie, IDW, doesn't really... I, I just want to know, in general. That's, that's fair. Um, I'm going to say... Uh, I just don't remember any of the numbers. I don't know which... I- oh, like, issue 50... Set, you know, I don't, I don't know any of the numbers at all. Um, <laughs> There's a lot of them. <laughs> I may be able I remember to help moments. I may be able to help with that. <laughs> I remember the moment with uh, it was Tangle and Whisper. I I think they're so cute, by the way. Um, um, but uh, it was that moment where like they're like sharing like sort of like their past and like there's like this hug panel. And do you know what I'm talking about? I don't. Mm, that's, that's very. Their, that's I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's their mini series. Yes, that was super early on, I think. But yeah, I I really like that. Was I like issue three, issue three, yeah. I thought that was so cute. I I'll be honest, it took me a minute to kind of, you know, grow into liking the newer characters. 
But I remember at that moment, I was like, oh, okay, you guys can stay. (laughs) (laughs) Nah, they've pretty much cemented themselves as like, uh, on the popularity of Shadow, even. I'd go, I'd I'd go Ah. as far as say that. I would say that too, 100%. Mm. Like, they're, they're so beloved. I love them so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, so many people love them. I love them. Yeah, they're so great. Mm. Well, well, uh, thank, th- thank you. Thank, thank you for answering my question. I just figured yeah, I'd no. ask them. I don't, I don't see you talk about the comics all too often, so I figured, hey, this piques my curiosity. Yeah, that was a really good question. You got me for a second there, so I had to think about it. <laughs> Yes, I did it. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Emmy. I hope your day is going well. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I hope, again, your day goes well as well. Much obliged. See you all later. Take care. Very much right Let's see. Let's have a look. Um, so far, we haven't had any text questions. Uh, we haven't had any over there in the text chat? Nope. I've been looking so far, and then I think uh, we want to ask her in person. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye on that, too. I didn't even think about that. I got you. Not a problem. Um, in the meantime, we'll bring up a Protector of Memes. Oh, right. I certainly have no, I have no qualms with that. <laughs> Same. The Protector of Memes, how are you doing? I mean, doing and good. Just spent the day Hey, with my girlfriend, making sure she was all right. You know, that's some sushi and pumpkin bao oh, for nice. her dinner or lunch. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, how have the three of you been? Doing good. Yeah, we're all doing good. So yeah, this question was, was intended to be a bit of an icebreaker uh, to help ease Emmy mm-hmm. into this because she did mention it and only that she was kind of nervous. But you know, I'll ask it anyway. <laughs> why are you married to Sonic Unleashed? <laughs> <laughs> because I love I Sonic Unleashed. Caught me off guard. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, but I figured it would be Sonic Adventure considering that's your favorite Sonic game. That is true. Uh, it, it's very complicated, you know. I mean, fair enough. Like uh, sometimes just I'm just curious. like, I, I, I've thought about it. You know, it's like a long lost thing. You know, I'm like, man, I perhaps I should have, but Sonic Unleashed will always. Always have my heart, my sweet husband, Sonic Unleashed. I guess Sonic Unleashed is my sweet husband too, considering that it's my favorite game of all time. Best <laughs> game I've made. Straight up. I'm sorry, but you can you can only be my husband actually. Um <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, well, hey. well didn't but uh, Sonic Adventure's open. Try. That's all, all all for you. <laughs> sure, I could always open my heart. <laughs> yeah, same. Anyway, you know, yeah, it was good to talk to you again. Uh, would love to hear a cover of Find Your Flame from you one day and, uh, you know, keep doing well. You've been doing great in this QA so far. Oh, I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. No problem. Thank you, Dare Protector Memes. Appreciate you. <laughs> Much appreciated. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Neither did I. Alrighty, um, it's a great segue to uh, have Emmy pick our next uh, our next speaker. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's do. I'm gonna do Souls Solaris. All right. Uh, here, let's see. Oh, Solaris, Solaris, Solaris. There we go. Come on up, Solaris. Oh, is my mic working? Yeah. Yes, hey, oh. Solaris. Hey, everyone. Um, Hi. how's everyone doing? Doing good. Yeah, we're all doing okay. good. It's good to hear. Um, let's see. My question is, what are your thoughts on Sticks the Badger? You know, they're canon now. Nobody, nobody talks about them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Not me just bringing them up as an excuse to talk about them, but yeah. Take it. I'll take it. Uh, <laughs> you know, I at first when like Sticks first came around, uh, I didn't like her that much. But then uh, season two of Sonic Boom happened and they actually like started giving her like a lot more character in it and i really liked her after that point um i can't remember the episode in particular it was like please i i apologize it's been years since i've watched it now but i think they found like some kind of like alien or underground creature and they were like kind of mistreating 
that character, but then like Sticks sort of understood what it was like. And I don't know, I, I remember being like, oh, this is actually a lot better than the typical like, oh, Sticks is just sort of crazy, <laughs> you know, conspiracy. Absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, conspiracy like- theories are funny. <laughs> yeah. That's my kind of character. That's probably the only reason why I gravitate towards them. I like her uh, her design too. Oh, absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's. I think I like all the all the orange Sonic characters to call Sticks and uh, and Marine. But oh yeah. my god, you're same. Literally, is it orange? Is one of my favorite colors. Is that why I like all of them? Probably. <laughs> they all have banger designs. I probably. Like, just praise all the orange Sonic characters. All right, but uh, yeah, that's a question. Uh, it was nice seeing you all. Yeah, thank you. We really appreciate it. All right, fine. Take care. All righty then. Chris. Let's see. Let's see if you got any text questions first. If not, oh, actually, I guess as I say that, we do have one for Emmy <laughs> uh, from uh, Boba. They asked, uh, we met like a year ago. Wait, um, I don't know what the question. Oh, okay, here we go. While recording the Sonic and our and Sonic and Tails, our show, was there a moment where you had uh, stitches? Was that there a moment that had you had stitches? stitches? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Laughing? Mm. Like, is there, yeah. was there a moment that made me laugh? Yeah, uh, that had you had stitches were... laugh me. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, of course. Um, I gotta think about it, though. Hold on. I think I have it, but I'm trying to remember if there's anything else. Ah, oh, man, there's a couple. I'll, I'll bring up two, if that's okay. Um, Good. Oh, my goodness. Here, I'm going to walk away from my heater. I have people working on my roof, so if you hear, like, a bang, I do apologize. It's the people on my roof. Um, oh, good. But, um, so there were two two parts that always just had me completely in stitches. Uh, episode three, where we made kind of a funny reference to, you know, there's there's a line that Tail says where he says, I can't take you anywhere. I, do you guys remember that line? It, it's, um, you know, because he's just like, God, like, I just, here we are, like, two seconds, we, you know, you've already gotten yourself into trouble. And that's right. actually like a, it's a reference to a life experience uh, to, for me that we put in there. <laughs> because when I was a kid, uh, we would always go to, like, Cedar Point during, like, the Halloween time. And I remember we were, like, getting food. And my older brother, he had, like, gotten food all over him. We're all, like, kids, you know. And my dad was like, oh, God, I can't take you anywhere. And it was just so, you know, like, he felt really bad about it, like my brother did. But then my dad proceeded to clean up all of the food off the table. And then and he took it over to throw it away. But it was one of those swinging trash cans. So it swung back. And literally, my dad got food all over himself and all over the place. And then my brother said, I can't take you anywhere. And it was so funny. Like me and my family, we all laugh about that moment. So we put that in episode three as kind of a small reference to that experience. Um, But the other one would also be in episode six when Shadow reveals himself as the commander. I thought that was so funny. And when we were having Jason record for that, literally, like we were like, God, this is terrifying. I feel like I'm in trouble. He just just did such a great job at it. So both of those moments, they were really, really funny. Oh, all right. Did that answer your question? I'm just picturing that right now. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, we had a lot of fun, like, just putting little funny things like that in the thing. Oh, man. And also, I forgot, we also did, um in episode two, we did, like, a Fairly Odd Parents reference with uh, mm-hmm. Amy. Amy made a comment saying, my love for you burns with a uh, hot red intensity of a thousand suns. Oh, I remember that line. Yeah, that was fun. (laughs) That part was funny. (laughs) All right. Hopefully that answered your question there, Bubba. Yeah, appreciate the question there. (laughs) All right. Uh, Let's see. Let's bring up... I'm saying now I'm saying two Olivia's. Like, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna ignore that. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. Let's bring up Tony Spin. Oh, uh, Tony Spin in Dashin. My good friends, Tony Spin Dash. Hello there. Oh, me? Yeah, oh, yeah. Hello. How are you, Tony? 
I'm go- oh, wait, hold on a second. Let me put on my headphones because I can't hear you guys. Oh, shoot. Okay. No worries. I can hear you. Yeah. Okay, I can hear you guys better. How's everyone? Doing all right. And all right, yourself? Good. You're well. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, so, Emmy, what are your thoughts on Trip from Sonic Superstars? I love Trip so much. She's so <laughs> cute. Me too. Yeah, she's really cool. I really, really love her. I hope they see more of her in other games. I hope so too. I imagine probably more classic stuff. Um, but we'll have to see. I uh, I really liked when I, I played as Amy in particular. But um, whenever like you save her, pretty much, and you have to like carry her, I was like, this is so cute. What the heck? <laughs> I loved playing as Knuckles and Tails for the most part. Well, mostly Tails. Yeah, I played Tails a little bit, but I actually really like Amy's like move set. Like it was really fun. Mm-hmm. And Trip climbing up the walls kind of reminds me of the Spike Wisp from Sonic Colors. Ooh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I really like her. She's she's great. The one thing I will say about Trip is her super form. What's not expecting that? A dragon. Yeah, I don't think anybody kind of expected that one right there. Especially right? since she's a lizard, technically. Yeah, she is supposed to be a lizard, a sun gazer lizard. But what did that have to do with a dragon? That's the one thing that still confuses me. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that answered your question there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you for the That's- question, Bernie. Great speaking with you, Emmy, and you too, Chris. No problem. Bye, Tony. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, I agree Bye, with Tony. what a EDW said. Lizard and dragons have close associations. Yep. Ah, uh, okay. So that's true. Mm-hmm. Got oh, sorry. Mochi, this is not your Q&A. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, that's your turn. Oh. My turn? Uh, does okay, go oh, ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> I was confused, but <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and well, speak of the devil, TDW. All Come right. on up. For the record, I kind of had that spoiler because I was wondering if because I was thinking I was a Sonic so super short spoiler, like, and I had it spoiler because you know, thing some people were, didn't play it yet. Oh, yeah, we understand. Oh, Sorry. I see. I see. Sorry Anyways, my, my question I have to ask is, um, um. Emi, um, do you generally um 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 play um like Sonic fan games or, or Ron Hex or um or 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 heck even other fan games from some other series? So are are you into those things? Um, I think it depends. I don't normally go out of my way to do it unless like there's something I guess of value in regards that like something that I would want. So like for example, um, I do have uh like the um. What is it? I, I feel so bad for not knowing what this is technically titled. But I, I do have like some of the hacks for like SA2 on Steam where you can like unlock a bunch of new stuff for like the Chow Garden. Um, I use that a lot because that is so much fun for me. I can't remember what it was called though. I, I feel kind of silly for not re- remembering what it was. But they like added like you could put like glasses on the Chow and you could like you got like new um, like colors and designs for the Chow. And uh, they even, like, I think it even unlocked, like, a new racing track on, like, the Chow Racing. And and so I love those. Like, those, mm. to me, it, like, it enhances the original experience, but it's not, like, anything that feels too fan-y. There's nothing wrong with anything fan-made, but I do like stuff that feels more of an extension. Like, I could see this be a part of this in an official type of way. So I'm kind of picky about it. Uh, so I, I do love that. I remember doing that with like the Chow Garden stuff. Um, I love better SADX. You know, I love using that because, you know, you can like put on all the seasons and like all the holiday DLC stuff. Um, so I love stuff like that. I just haven't really tried a whole lot of other fan games. Oh, I, I remember also trying the Sonic Riders fan game, actually. Um, and that was really, really fun. It just depends on, I guess, what it is. You know what I mean? I see. Wow. Well, I I do generally appreciate that the fact that a lot of these fans have um the passion that they put in, into the works they show for the series. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me too. I think it's really cool. 
Anyways, that's all I have to ask for. I just say, um, have a good day. Okay, hey, you too. Yeah, have a good day. There, TG. Oh yeah, Project of Six. That's a good. It, uh, I haven't tried it, but I've seen so much of it, and it's so good. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet either. I do want to try that out. Yeah, it's so cool. All right, Amy, your turn. My turn. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna pick. Let's go with. Let's do CJ. CJ, right. I'll say CJ. Come on up. Hi there. DJ? DJ? Uh oh. Uh oh. Here, we can, we might have to do what we did with uh, Olivia. Bring them down and then bring them right. back up. Oh, 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 there you are. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> My microphone connection just cut off every time. Oh, oh you're okay. good. Well, we can hear you now. Good. <laughs> it is good to meet you. It's this great is meeting me. you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. It's great meeting you too, CJ. I have a, I have a question. Okay. I've been listening to my favorite character E series named E one hundred one E one hundred two Gamma. I've been listening to his songs. I was wondering if 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 you can sing it. I heard there's a lyrics version. A lyrics version. Wait, really? Yep. Mm hmm. I don't know if I've actually. I don't think I've heard it. Name. Ooh. Um, but I'm not against the idea of potentially doing something like that in the future. So, you know, maybe if I hear it and I really like it, then I might be willing to do like a cover of it. In that case, I'll I'll send it to you. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate it. Again, yeah, there's no promises. The I do have a lot. Of, I do have quite a bit of projects that I I gotta get finished first. But uh, you know, it's something that I might be interested I'll set it in. On doing. The I'll send it on the Kronos stage room test. Okay. Oh, Fallen Star. That does look good, by the way. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Art style. Here you go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take it. I'm not going to listen to it right now, um, but I'll, I'll take know. a listen to it after well, the Q&A. Maybe, maybe later. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you for your question. Again, if I, if I do wind up liking it and I, you know, have some time to do so, I do have a lot of stuff in the pipeline right now, but if I get some time, then maybe uh, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. And one last one. I like to sing it with you because I have, I'm a good singer after all. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I didn't know that you sang. Mm -hmm. that's, well, that's um, yep. okay. no, no worries. No worries. Thank you for your question, CJ. You're welcome. My all right. Chris. All right. And how about we bring uh Let's bring up Hannah. Bring okay. it up, Hannah. Know who that is? <laughs> uh, know who that is? <laughs> Here, uh, I'm to clean. What the heck? Let me sift through it. See if I can. What is it having trouble with you? Yeah, like it not giving me the option of inviting her to the stage. It just mm, said, I, I, just know. "I don't really see them with their hand up." Uh, Hannah, <laughs> if you can hear us. <laughs> Uh, this one is just acting weird. Oh, there no, we go. Nope. Oh, we get it? I, I think. Hang on. Where is it? Hold on here. I've seen double. It's been oh, it's, it's it. because double. Yeah. Um, the request to speak one, that's that's where it'll be like a live count right there. No, it's uh, looks, find like, it. looks like Hannah puts her hand down and may not uh, even be the audience right now. It might be a duplicate. <laughs> right. All right. How about we bring up the. Uh, uh, again, yeah, look on the request to speak list on the right. That that's what yeah, you that's what you want to look. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Because the one the actual audience screen is actually, you know, it, as you can see, it duplicates. That's, really that's not even helping either. I don't you even see him with his hair. If you want, but, while uh, you fix it up, I can bring somebody up if you want. Yeah, I may have to leave and then join back in. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah not a problem. A idea, just so we can keep it moving. Yeah. All right, well, on that note, let's go ahead and bring up uh, Morgan. Let's bring up Morgan here. Come on up, Morgan. Oh, there we go. Morgan, you hear us? Morgan? Morgan? Morgan, you good? Uh, might Morgan, be a, you good? Might be a similar situation to... Uh, <laughs> 
Still love you. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna try restarting my Discord because it's still wonky. Hang on. I gotcha. Um, here, let me see. As soon as Morgan pops back up on the screen, we can bring Morgan in. Uh, you good, Morgan? Uh-oh. <laughs> we're having trouble hearing you, Morgan. Yeah, we're having trouble. There's Discord. <laughs> I do see uh, <laughs> in the chat, <gasps> Punk Gamer, uh, good friend AJ. Man, Discord not playing nice at all. <laughs> Literally. <Right>? Now, <laughs> now everything's looking fine. I'm not seeing duplicates. <laughs> or seeing go. Anna or Ultimate in the chat and in the audience. I guess that makes sense. Yep. Uh, here, hang yeah. on. Oh, oh wait, 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 hold on. Wait. I just heard him. I just oh. heard him. There we go. Yeah, Here we go. Okay. okay, okay. I did the right thing. Okay, I am so sorry. I think I. Go ahead. I, 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 okay. I wasn't sure what was going on with the audio. Um, but okay, my my AirPod Max will do. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> yes. Hello, hello. Um, my question Hi. is, um, what, 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 what was your favorite song that 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 that, that, that you've uh, written and produced? Ooh, okay. That's a that's a good one. Uh, for written and produced. Oh shoot. <laughs> um. It's between Bring You Back and Fly With Me, but I don't know which one to pick. Ooh, two <laughs> good ones. It's hard to choose from. Uh, uh, you know what? I am very... the When I was writing for Fly With Me, I had a lot of like personal value in terms of like writing about like the specifics in that one. So I'm going to go with Fly With Me for this one, but Bring You Back is a very close second. Good choice. Good choice. I nice. appreciate it. Do you have a favorite? Um... My favorite songs are, are, are mainly ones by by my personal favorite um, singer uh, um, Rufus Wainwright. If, if you don't know who who he is, he uh, he did Hallelujah from uh, Shrek and uh, another believer from Meet the Robinsons. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you for your yeah. question, Morgan. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. And I do apologize for a little te- technical difficulty. I wasn't even sure what was going on. No, it's okay. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it, 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 it was an honor to meet you again, as usual. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Take care. Hey, thank Need you there, you. Morgan. Appreciate you. Hey. All right. Now that mm-hmm. things are working on my end, how about I bring up uh, someone? Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Chris. How about we bring up uh, Simi? To- oh. Nope. Emmy. Uh, Emmy. What happened? Yeah. Something happened. Uh, okay. Something over here. Hang on, let me. Oh, good. Get back up. <laughs> Bring up. Uh, he's. Oh, he gets shot here. Oh, there You're we go. Wow. Can you guys hear me? Yep. Yeah. Loud and clear. <laughs> My finger slipped, and I randomly joined another call. Oh, <laughs> it's all good. You're okay. Oh, good. oh my god! Sorry. Continue. Oh, you're good. You're it's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How about we bring up? You're good. You're good. How about we bring up uh, Simi? Yeah, Simi. Yeah. Oh, Simitar. Yeah. There is Simitar. Come on. Shino <laughs> clipped into the back rooms. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, by the way, Emmy. Oh my god, thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. So, from, uh, from one Sonic Adventure fan to another, <laughs> what's it like working with Ryan? Mm. Um, it's, it, it's great. You know, Ryan's he's a really great person, and, you know, getting to work with him uh, on Sonic and Tails R, it was honestly a really huge honor, to be honest. Uh, we had always talked about doing something together for, like, Honestly, like years, like we had talked about, like we, we got to do some kind of project together. Um, but we never really could come up with anything. But then uh, when I came up with the idea for Sonic and Tails R, I immediately called him and I'm like, you want to do this? Are you down? And he said, oh, my God, hell yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> really yeah. Fantastic project, by the way. Really took Thanks. me back to SA1 and 2. Oh, thank you. That was definitely what we were aiming for. It was like the the adventure era, you know? So thank you. Well, th- thank you so much. And if I may say this in some sort of way, just to quote it as I take my leave. See you later, Tails! Oh, wow. That was really good. <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. You have a good one. You too. Thank you there, Cemetery. 
Take care. Um, I figured I should actually ask this since we had a lot of technical difficulties and there's uh, some chunks of people still having their hand raised. Uh, Emmy, mm-hmm. would you possibly be available for 30 more minutes of the meet and greet? I would be happy to. <laughs> <laughs> there we go you heard it here first everybody um and also with that you may pick somebody <laughs> okay i'm gonna pick retchy retchy come on up retchy hey hello Hi, Rechie. oh my gosh is this the first time i've actually heard your voice yeah uh <laughs> that times yeah. i joined your bc I've, I've been muted but now you're talking <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cool to hear you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, my question is, uh, what is the process of creating a, a cover from the recording to the uh, sound mixing and finally finally up- uploading it? How is how it is? Okay. Um, I would say, so we start off with, you know, the, the planning and prepping. Um, so, I will decide on a song that I would like to cover. And I have to decide what style that I want to go for. So typically, you know, as people mostly see, I typically go for like the slowed down lullaby-esque song, or there are some songs where I feel like that would sound completely stupid like that. Uh, So we're going to do maybe a more high beat, full band acoustic, or sometimes I'll even do something completely different like jazz or whatever. So I have to kind of decide what style, you know, best matches, you know, lyrics and overall tone. Um, so I do that first. And after that, uh, I hire the proper musicians to join me for, you know, whatever style it is that I need. Um, and then once we get a scratch of the instrumentation kind of down, then I record. Um, and then I do all of the, the sound design and mixing myself. So usually, uh, for me, I'm very picky about recording. So I will record over like kind of a span of like, say, maybe a week. And I do three or four different recording sessions because I want to make sure that I'm getting my absolute best out of each and every part. So I will, you know, pick four different days. And when I go through to select what I want to use, I'll decide whatever I think was sort of like the best day. Like, okay, on this day, I think I I felt a lot better that day. I had a stronger tone in my voice. So I'm going to use these takes. Um, okay. and then I pick them out. I do all the, you know, mixing and EQing and everything. Um, but usually long before that, I also will, uh, commission an artist and I usually like, mm-hmm. uh, commissioning artists who are very good at drawing specifically the characters that I need them to draw. Um, I'm sure you understand that more than anything. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I usually go to people who I'm like, oh, yeah, they're really good and they really like to draw these characters. So I'm going to go to them. Um, yeah. And I'll do that usually, honestly, before most steps, actually, because I just want to give whichever artist like as much time as I can. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, I guess by the time of uh, being completely finished with it, uh, it kind of varies depending on, you know, the complexity of the song. But it can take for me as short of a time as maybe a week and a half to as long as if it's really complex, I would say I could be mixing it for like three and a half months just because sometimes there are some songs that are just more difficult to mix uh, and record for. So yeah, I would say probably that. And then that's about it. Then I usually will give AJ, who is in the chat, Punk Gamer, um, I'll give him the instrumentation and art to build off of. And once I finish the final mastering of the recording, I'll send it to him and he does his amazing uh, video editing editing magic. And then we release. (laughs) Nice. Nice. Yeah, thank you. It's fun. It's fun. There's a lot more whenever we have to like actually write a song. Um, but when it's cover related, then, you know, it's not nothing too crazy or anything, you know. All right. Uh, thank you so much for answering my question. I love your cover so much. <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs> thank you, Reggie. I appreciate you. All right. Yeah, thank you for answering your question there. Let's get you back in the audience. There we go. <laughs> it was lagging for a second, but I think we're good now. <laughs> All right. 
Let's see, I will bring up the next person. All right. And luckily, this time I won every issue this time. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's bring up. Let's bring up uh, and Kygo Mash. Sorry if I didn't say your name right. And Kygo Mash. Hello there. Hello. Hello. There you are. Absolute pleasure. You sound a bit low on my end. Yeah, it was, it's a little low for me, too. I'm low. Hang on, I'm going to turn you up. Wait, is Are there you saying something? I don't know. I'm sure not to. Oh, still okay. sounding pretty low. I turned him up, and I can hear him a little bit better. Yeah, I did the same thing. The bad night. Okay, I can hear you yeah, a little sure. better. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I don't really have really much of a simple question, but a uh, question for Emmy. Um, what is your favorite Sonic show and why? Oh, Sonic X, Ooh. easy. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Yeah, Sonic X is my favorite Sonic show. And it's literally my favorite Sonic thing ever, in my opinion. I actually like Sonic X more than anything else. Um, and the reason being is just that's so good. I love the writing in particular, like the way that they wrote all of the characters, especially if you watch it in Japanese. Um, it's great. Like it's the in my opinion, the best all of the characters have ever been uh in terms of writing characterization the kind of stories they come up with um uh, yeah i love sonic x it's so good especially season three yeah i mean i think it was like it was like the first show i ever like grew up with when i was like under the age of like well seven or something yeah like, yeah so, well like, yeah i kind of want to say the like, same but i remember seeing like sad am show up sometimes like it'd be like reruns but it never really like captivated me. I'm like, yeah, this is cool. You know, I, that's cool. But then like Sonic X came out on like four kids and Fox Fox. And I was just like, oh my God, what is this? Yeah. Yeah. It Sonic was, uh, X is great. Much. Yeah. Thank you very much for answering yeah. the question. No problem. Thank you for asking. And um, mm-hmm. just one more thing. Um, I can't wait for the second season of Sonic and Tails. Oh, it's going to be awesome. I hope it is. Thank you. <laughs> we have really big stuff planned. So I hope you like it. Oh, I think we're all going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Anyways, thank you very much. And I'll, uh, I'll be taking my leave now. Uh, thank you. All right. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Right. Thank you there, Kaga. Appreciate you. Um, I guess it's, I guess I'm up here. Let's uh, take a look. Uh, let's bring a uh, drowsiest rocket. <laughs> Come on up there, uh, Rocket. There we go. Hmm, let's see. Is this on? Yes. Sir. We can hear you. All right. What? <laughs> Doing good. How are you? Doing fine. I'm glad you asked. Um, it's nice seeing you again. Same with yeah. like uh, when we met in person from this year in June. And yeah. So um, my question. Um. What gave you the idea to make Sonic and Tails R, and how long did it took you to make the first episode? That's a great question. Um, so, uh, it actually started off with just feeling like I needed to do more on my channel in regards to voice acting. Like, I was doing a lot of stuff, obviously, with music, but I thought, I do also want to make sure I'm showing off and, you know, showcasing my uh, my abilities for voice acting, too, and I didn't really know how to go about doing that. Um, but then, uh, you know, it sort of hit the both of, you know, me and the person who I had made it with. Uh, we're like, you know, maybe we, what if we did like an audio show and, you know, we don't have to worry about doing any craziness with like animation and stuff unless, you know, it's for particular scenes. Um, but it can just be all audio based. And I thought that was a great idea. I had been sort of holding on to the story elements that we used in season one. Um, I wanted to do something in terms of telling a Sonic story uh, for a really long time. And that was sort of the perfect opportunity to tell that story. So um, I decided to reach out to Ryan, like I mentioned previously, like, hey, do you want to do this with me? And uh, he was completely down. And then we started kind of building from there. And uh, in terms of episode one, there was a lot of preparing because before we did, before we technically laid down the ground stuff for episode one, we obviously, we wanted to lay down the synopsises for the entire series first. Um, 
for us, from the very beginning, we already knew how the show was going to end. We wanted to make sure every piece was already prepared for the next one. So because of that, that took us longer than any other episode. And I want to say that episode one in total was probably about six months of production of prepara- uh, preparing for everything. But then every other episode after that, it would only take maybe a month or so because we already did a lot of that preparation beforehand. Hmm. Ooh, that's an interesting oh. trivia right there. Because at first, I wasn't really interested in the series when I heard it was a radio drama series at first. Because back then, I wasn't really fond with radio drama stuff. Because usually, like, I don't like hearing things back then. Which is nowadays, um, I got used to them. Like, I like them now. They put effort on them. Hey. And yeah, I got used to them. Because so then, it's one of those things where it's like, uh, a radio drama? It's not really my tie. But I still gave it a chance. Like, when I heard, like, something like Ryan Drum and Mike Pollock, I'm like, oh, well. I'll give it a shot. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is actually good. It's, it's better than what I expected, to be honest. Thank you. We really appreciate yeah. it. Like, really. Mm-hmm. Especially hearing people like Jason. Oh, my God, my hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. Getting to have him join us for season one. That was pretty fun. Absolutely. Ryan, <laughs> Jason. Oh, my God. Good duos. Good they duos. They sound great. A Sonic and Shadow together. Yes, exactly. <laughs> But I'm glad that you wound up giving it a shot. Thank you for doing that. No problem. It's been it's been a pleasure of mine giving the show a chance because I am glad that, uh, like I said earlier, like um, if I avoided it, I probably would never hear Jason or Ryan as much. I probably wouldn't hear him that much anymore. That is true. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's true. Yeah. Very good point. Uh huh. And yeah. Thank you. And thank you so much. No problem. There, Drazis. Oh yeah, I'm there. And. Yeah, that's all I have right now. All okay. right. Yeah. We do have a text question from Cookie Star. They ask, Hi, Amy, glad to see you. Okay, for my question, any recommendations to stay consistent when it comes to writing songs or do voice acting projects in general? To stay consistent yeah. when it comes to write songs or do voice acting projects in general. Um, when you say consistent, I guess, do you mean in terms of quality? Or do you mean in terms of uh, kind of keeping up with the projects and uh, I guess having a consistent schedule? Like, what do you mean per- like in particular with that? Keeping up. Oh, I understand. Okay. Um, I would say just making sure you pace yourself. But another thing that I do is I, I do a lot of like planning ahead. So for me, I guess... To kind of, I guess, show how, like, I did mention, you know, prior that we had all the synopsises already pre-planned. And because of that, all of the other episodes were very, that was a very short, uh, you know, production time. So when we plan ahead and we have all of the stuff happening, we're able to kind of get the moving parts to work a lot more seamlessly. So we're not overwhelmed and freaking out, you know, seven episodes in or something. Um, because we already kind of planned for all of this stuff, if that makes sense. So like, you know, for you, um, I would start like taking down a list and, you know, plan ahead, you know, whenever you like are working on this stuff, don't like take on obviously a million things at once. But if you write down a list of the stuff that you want to do and you sort of create almost a schedule in your mind of, well, I'll do this, 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 and I'm going to probably put this one out in like let's say two weeks but then this next one you know this one might be in like two months um if you kind of keep those things in mind and you make sure that each day you're at least providing a little bit of something to each of those things even if it's something like today i need to at least plug in my microphone and make sure that it's you know set up for tomorrow literally just stuff like that it helps because I understand what it's like to get very burnt out and get, you know, very tired. So doing that helps me so I don't like get crazy behind or super overwhelmed because, you know, burnout's not really good either. Um, I hope that helps. I'm not sure if that made any sense, but I, I that's sort of my uh, process. Yep. Plan ahead. Anything we do, really, it does. Yeah, it really, really does. So I would just say, yeah, keeping that, that is what helps me uh, keep up with all of the stuff that I'm doing. Like right now, I'll even admit that I've, I've 
probably put a little too much on my my to do, and because of that, I need to get something uploaded pretty soon. Um, but I that's know, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> there's just a lot, you know. Season two, it's a tall order, so you know, oh, yeah. just trying to do as much as I can. The uh, question there, um, I'd like to just bring up somebody. Uh, I'd like to bring a special guest up here, really quick. Um, okay, just, just just really quick. Oh, hey, oh. hey, 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 my question. My, I have a question. Why did why did you get scheduled at the same time as me? So then we don't get to hear oh. each other's <laughs> awesome panels. I don't know. I actually thought that, too. I saw that we were at the exact same time and I'm like, oh, well, I can't go show up to your thing. But thank you for showing up to mine. I, I didn't realize you were such a big fan. I'm a, <laughs> such a huge fan. I, you can't even imagine how big of a fan I am. <laughs> how was your Q and A? My Q and A was wonderful. Half That's of these awesome. people were there at some point. I see. I oh. recognize lots of names. <laughs> <laughs> and for all of you that weren't, I see your names, and I'm judging you, and I remember everything. I picked me <laughs> over you. How does it feel? Yeah, well, I'm scared. You're, you're 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 younger and cooler, so I definitely I would have done that too. <laughs> oh man! Okay, now that I got to crash, now that I got to crash your channel, I'm gonna go make dinner. Okay, yes, go make dinner. <laughs> uh, bye, everyone. Bye, Emmy. Love you. Miss you. I'll talk to you soon. Love you Take too. Care, Pete. You. Take care, bye. Pete. Bye, everyone. Have a great panel. You too. Just had to do that really quick. <laughs> I was Good like, diamond. that's our guest. And I like scrolled yeah, down. I saw it. Oh, okay. It's like, oh, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, it, was it was brought to my attention. I'm like, I can't just not. I can't no, just not perfect. bring Vita. <laughs> um, I think we'll go ahead and we'll uh, we'll let you call the next person up there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let me take a look at everybody here. Um, let's go with, let's do Haley Puppy. All right. All right. Haley Puppy. Puppy. Come on up, Haley. There we go. There you go. Oh my, oh my gosh. Hi. Hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. This is actually my first time at Sonic Rev. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I'm so happy for you. I'm so excited and Welcome nervous. <laughs> Thank you. Anyways, my question for Emmy is um if you could like bring like any of the Sonic characters that aren't canon and you know like make them canon, which one would it be? Like whether they were already canon and died or and bring them back or or not canon like, like a, a Sonya the Hedgehog or Mick or or Eclipse the darkling or you know okay well that's a little tough mainly because i i'm really bad at keeping up with what's not came <laughs> um so let me think what i guess what characters are can i guess not considered canon uh but you mentioned a good couple of them but can you guys refresh me on a few more of them I'm kind of um, in the same. I'm kind of in the same boat. <laughs> yeah, I'm like kind of wondering what what is considered not canon. No, 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 no! Don't be not. sorry. Don't be sorry at all. <laughs> the RPG universe <laughs> and like um, Sonic at a SATM, you know, um, and uh, um, and uh, oh yeah, um, I guess a lot of shows. Mm -hmm. And and also X, yeah. I guess that is also not canon. So I'm gonna pull from there because Sonic X is my favorite. Um, but I'm not gonna say Cosmo. I love Cosmo. She's literally one of my favorites. But I really love her story, and I don't want her to come back to life because her whole story was about sacrificing herself, and it was so beautiful. So I, I'm gonna leave that one alone. But I will pick another Sonic X character, and what will that be? Um. <laughs> Hard to choose, huh? That is really, really tough. I like a lot of the Sonic X characters. I this sounds dumb. I'm sure nobody will agree with me here, but I love like Bokoon and even like the uh, the henchmen. Um, I love I love like uh, Helen. She's also one of my favorites. Aww. Shout out to Mike Pollock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and uh, and Molly. 
she's a really good character uh, too honestly yeah. like a lot of them so i guess out of everybody i will basically have the one so many cared about died white <laughs> right mm -hmm. i'm gonna pick hmm and I'm have been making them canon. Oh, this is so tough. Hold on. <laughs> I'm literally like, I know this is so dumb. I'm putting way too much on the line for this. I just don't want to get bullied about it. You know, if I say like Bokun, everyone's gonna be like, oh, you hear that Twitter? She wants Bokun to be canon. <laughs> but Bokun's kind of oh, a cool design. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> don't be sorry. Um, it's just tough. I uh, I would probably pick uh Helen. Oh yeah. Uh, I bet that she, if she met Shadow, that like remind him of Rhea. Yes, I completely <laughs> yeah. agree. I love her. She's such a cool yeah. character. Yeah, even though she's in a wheel, she doesn't let that. Her. Well, that's the best part, you know. Like, oh yeah, we all kind of have stuff that you know yeah. can make things tough, and she, you know, she uses that as a strength. You know, it's it's really cool. Exactly. Um, Appreciate the question there, Haley. Um, yeah, thank you for your question. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I hope, I would love to hear you sing I Hear, do a cover of that from Sonic Frontiers. Ooh, Ooh. okay. Ooh. I'll, I'll write it down. <laughs> Anyways, I'm so glad you picked me <laughs> to ask you a question. <laughs> yeah, of course. Thank you so much for asking. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you there, Haley. Appreciate it. All right. Hey, Chris. Hey, let's see. Um, let's bring up Kevster. Uh, Kevster. Bring up Kevster. Up. Come on up. Hi, Emmy. What's up? Hi. Um, not much. How are you doing, Kevster? I'm doing good. I just watched the funny R R R R bear movie. <laughs> It was all right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was all right. Anyway, okay. uh, so I remember. Oh, now I remember. My question is, what is your favorite? Uh, I saw this like blowing up on Twitter. There, we're apparently in like this new era of Sonic, where you got like the Sonic movies and Sonic Frontiers and Sonic Superstars. My question is, what is your favorite? Sonic related thing that we've gotten recently, like the movies, Superstars or Frontiers or IDW? Superstars, 100%. Um, I actually was pretty surprised that I normally like, I, I gravitate towards the modern stuff. Um, but, you know, I'll be honest, when I played Superstars, it kind of reminded me of when I was a kid. And my sort of introduction to a lot of the, like playing most of the classics. Now, it, technically, I did play them on the Genesis. But I have a lot more fond memories of playing them on like different classic collections, like with my cousins. And I'll be honest, when I was playing Superstars, it reminded me of something that I would have been playing with my cousins on one of those collections. And that made me really happy. So oh, because of that, sweet. I really enjoyed. Yeah, I know. I was like thinking about it and I'm like, I kind of want to like send this game to my cousin because I feel like she would understand exactly that feeling because we used to play all the time. So 100%, yeah, Superstars. It was really, really I fun really and really that. cute. And, yeah. yeah. Man, this is taking me back to like Sonic Revo 2020. Like that was the last time I was in one of these and it was the first time we interacted. So this is nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. And to answer your other question, no, Pete does not do the voice at reunions. <laughs> <laughs> that one's awesome. just went up to <laughs> they're not, like, they're not technically they're not technically reunions though I mean it'll be like for Christmas and like Thanksgiving and like you know all that stuff so whenever we're yes on the holidays no Pete does not uh, do the voice he does not like randomly you know say it's use uh, well yeah uh, I'm really excited for Sonic and Tails R season 2 it's gonna be amazing I'm excited. Yeah, thank nice. you so much. Yeah, season and, two, uh, it's coming thanks soon. For, thanks for having me. Y'all are amazing. Keep making this community so, so cool. And uh, yeah, oh, just thank have you. one. You too. Yeah. Alrighty then. Alrighty. Do the roar. <laughs> <laughs> Do the roar. 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 
All right. All right. Was oh, it my pick next? <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, let's go ahead and bring up. Uh, you know what? Let's bring up Diet Dr. Kel. <laughs> My diet doctor kelp. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. The, the <laughs> meme itself. <laughs> First off, how are you? I'm I'm good. I'm doing good. Just just got done with the uh, Pete's Q and A, and it was it was a lot of fun. Um, but uh, yeah. So th- thank you so much for calling me up, Dust. Uh, nice mm. to meet you, Emmy. I think this is the first time I've ever met you. Um. Yeah, you're right. Actually, it's nice to meet you too. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I know, I know. Vaguely, you commented on Twitter and on one of the things that I was attached with was Sydney, and I was like, "Oh, she knows me," and I was like, "God, you just great." Kind of that was kind of a full circle moment. But um, anyway, uh, I have a question for you. So, in the process of making uh, Sonic and Tails R season one. What do you think was one of the biggest challenges for trying to adapt the story that you wanted to tell? That's a good question. Um, challenges for the story. Um, I would say, hmm, I got to think about that for just a moment here. I, I, I feel like in terms of like the, the story that we wanted to tell, like say, you know, with like the emeralds and everything, that was pretty easy. Like we, we knew how we wanted to tackle it. but what was a challenge was, you know, making sure that the characterization was where we wanted it to be, you know, in terms of everybody uh, being utilized and also being utilized as part of the uh, part of the story. So we wanted to make sure that if we brought a character in, it wasn't, you know, obviously I'll say with the uh, exception of Big the Cat, uh, we wanted to make sure they didn't just show up. <laughs> Big the Cat obviously did, and that was just sort of our exception because we wanted to, um, you know, sort of pay homage to the cameos from, like, SA2. But for everybody else, we wanted to make sure if they were kind of being in here, like, there's sort of a reason for it. Um, so, like, I guess, for example, with, like, Silver, he wasn't really meant to really just be a cameo. It was, we wanted to bring him in because... Each character that we brought in, we wanted to make sure that we, at least from our own perspective, we were correcting characterization. Um, so for us, how we felt that Silver should like kind of be written, you know, we we didn't we didn't really like the idea of he just keeps kind of showing up. Like, okay, something bad keeps happening, so he just keeps coming back past. So how we wanted to write him was that actually, you know, after he, you know, did everything. He didn't really have a whole lot going on where to, he was at that time of like 06. And, uh, you know, kind of what we had in mind was, well, what if he just went back and he stayed there because that's where all of his friends are. So that's not a noticeable thing that anybody I, I'm sure picked up on, really. But that's why he's just that. It, that's why he's just there. There's no I'm back because there's some crazy thing happening in the future. No, he's, he's there. He's living amongst everybody. And we wanted to do that for different characters and shadow. That one was obviously a pretty big challenge too, because we were very picky about how he was written just because he's been miswritten a lot. So that, <laughs> that, script, in part- I know. <laughs> yeah. that script in particular, we did seven drafts of that script wow. completely rewritten each time we were very picky we wanted to make sure it was like perfect so awesome i would say that one was the most challenging sorry i kind of went off on a tangent but oh, that's, I, that's totally fine <laughs> it's always interesting to hear those kind of behind the scenes stories especially with with characters that are complicated like like silver and shadow because i mean i know i know even back when i was um when i was <laughs> doing it before i even voiced in in revo uh i remember i think tales sonic and tales are had come out uh very recently and i remember <laughs> watching that video of uh where silver appeared and i was like that's kind of like i kind of <laughs> use that as like a little bit of an inspiration for my own little silver things but um oh, it that's was, so cool. but uh yeah it's awesome to hear the behind the scenes thank you for answering my question thank you for your question i love your stuff you're doing a great job no thanks <laughs> Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Thank you there, Kelp. Uh, I believe we probably have time for one more. Emmy, you get the final pick. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Now everyone can be mad at me if I didn't pick them. 
There uh, you go. <laughs> let me think. I'm going to pick... Oh, this is so difficult. I'm going to pick Cats 420. All right. Come on. Come on up. Uh, oh, there we go. Are there cats? You're muted. Okay, oh. there we go. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Um, thank you for picking me. Sorry. Yeah, of course. Um, oh, how's good. it going? How's it going, everyone? Good. Good. Right. Well, good. Good. Nice to meet you, Emmy. I'm. I'm nice honored. to meet you. Oh, thank you. Um, since we're uh, short on time here, let me just get my question out of the way. Um, since uh, since you're such an unleashed um, fan girl. I'd like to ask if you could live in one of the areas in the where would you? Ooh, oh, that's a good one. Oh man, yeah. and it's difficult because I, when it comes to like my favorite, I've always been been between two of them, and that's I've always been between uh, Apodos and Soliana. Uh, I feel like Apodos though is sort of where I'm leaning today. Uh, I just think that the the area is so beautiful. It's based off of Santorini, Greece. It's so lovely. The um, the architecture and everything, and the food, of course, like the ice cream and everything. I I think it's beautiful. So if I could pick a place, I would probably be there. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that question. No problem. Mm-hmm. Uh, I guess that's it. Okay. Thank you. And uh, excited for Sonic and Tails R C. Oh, thank you. <laughs> have a nice uh, night, everyone. Take care, cats. Yeah, as well. Thank you, cats. All righty. I think with that, right. we can go ahead and uh, wind on down here. Uh, the meet and greet here. Thank you, Emmy, for once again being here with Sonic Revo. Oh, my gosh. Of course. Thank you guys for having me. Hey, Absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you, everybody who's tuning in. Like, thank you guys for showing up and asking questions and just being here. We really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. I wish I could have a chance to meet literally every single one of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, folks, uh, you can, if you haven't already, go subscribe to Emmy. There's the link right there in the chat. Thank you. We're Don't getting close to 100K. <laughs> yep, almost yes, there. The big 100K. <laughs> Which is crazy to think that you're not already there, but <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Oh man, I've been wanting the silver play button for so many years. So it, thank you guys I for helping. Forget the silver play button, people. There you go. There's the I guess the homework for the Revo crowd. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> What's real easy, but uh, that's going to conclude the meet and greets here on the Chrono Stage Room. Um, thank you, Chris, for helping me. No yeah, problem. Uh, happy, happy to help. Happy to help. And uh, until next year, everybody. Thank you for attending Sonic Revo Digital 2023. Closing ceremony is on Twitch in about 30 minutes. Y'all can head on over there and uh, check out what kind of cool stuff we've got planned for uh, next year. <laughs> yeah. It's exciting. All right, everybody. Yeah, thank you so much. Year. And see y'all next year. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. It was great meeting you guys. Bye. (laughs) Bye, everybody.